Sushruta for Neat is now available on the Google Play Store. Try it out for free. Hi students, so today I am going to record for you um, a very important lecture. The aim of this lecture is to get you to understand the various aspects of how to use the uh, Nyanamarga platform. So um, it's very, very uh, critical to, um, uh, you know, and of course we'll then continue with our lecture as well, you know, so um uh, so uh, the important aspect that that you should understand is what uh, you know what are all the parts of the puzzle you know and uh, so this is today is actually a critical parts of the puzzle uh, understanding uh, day you know so and see this is a lecture aimed at class 11 students you know so, so you are probably going to be taking the 2023 exam or two or three exams in 2023 so so with that in mind i'm providing you uh, you know a little bit of a perspective of course uh, uh, you know this is part of the class 11 series uh, you know thermodynamics is chapter 12 or chapter 13 in the class 11 series right so the Nyanamarga study methodology, uh, you know, uses the best of breed uh, integration of ebooks with uh, slides, you know, and uh, and uh, IIT pass videos. So if you get the book, you study the book well, along with that the slides and along with the videos as well, you know, and so it is an integrated platform for you to study. So you must make use of all the methodologies that are available there one two and three you know and then you should use the assessment the, the most the proof of the cake as they say is in the eating that means every day you must be looking at assessment this this series of live lectures is there to complement uh, what is already there inside the app you know and so today i'm going to discuss strategy for students who are trying to take on, uh, you know, what is a really tough exam, uh, you know, um, uh, on a budget, you know. And so this is aimed at those kinds of students and, you know, what we want to advise them, you know. So we have Sushruta for NEET, which is available from Google Play Store at uh, uh, 11995. It is among the most competitive apps that you can get. You can visit our website, um, you know, or our Facebook page as well, you know. The second uh, Sushruta for me, NEET also comes in a second form, which includes a tablet. You know, the tablet form uh, to uh, to the you know you reach uh, our uh, support at nyanamarga.in to purchase the tablet. Okay, otherwise you just go to the uh, Google Play Store and download the app. You know, if you're interested in the lower end platform, and if you want a discount, you call us. You know, or you email support at nyanamarga.in. I am okay. Just email and we'll give you a discount. So the tablet version comes with these extra books. Most importantly, HC Verma is an ebook. Okay. HC Verma is easily the best book uh, that you can buy at a low cost. You can buy Resnick and Hardy, you can buy Sears Zemansky, you can buy uh, you know any of the other books. You know, the other free book that you get is the open stacks book. You know, so use your NCRT. Use the OpenStax book, use HC Verma. Okay. Particularly for chemistry, we recommend that students study in addition to the NCRT textbook OpenStax. Okay. For, for neat students, for biology, study only the NCRT textbook. Maybe you can study a few other things. Okay. But become so good at the NCRT textbook that you will make out of the 360, 330, just in, and while conserving time, you're so good in that biology that you have little time left from it. People don't take that much time. Although you have 90, you would think you have 90 minutes for biology. No, in about 40, 45 minutes, the best students will 
get 330 out of 360 by just learning the biology so well attend use the nyanamaga platform listen to professor butt's lectures and you will get to 330 i assure you or at least 300 plus okay you will get that 300 plus work with professor gk butt if you want to buy a to z chemistry biology you can buy otherwise you can buy a uh, integrated platform uh, and that is also not very expensive 25000 rupees not that much these days okay. now on top of that you you should listen to the iit pal lectures okay particularly for the subject i am teaching you physics you know physics the more iit pal lectures the more previous your questions the better off you will be physics is easily i am told the toughest for chemistry again i suggest you read the ncert book very well and then when you have doubts about material listen very very carefully to the iit pal lectures and solve problems chemistry you must know chemistry you must know everything okay and once you have all three under control then you should practice a lot of practice tests we have nyana test prep 9 10 tests for students to take on okay so then we have ramanujan for je this is for the je students je is also very tough exam and the what we advise is definitely you get hc verma for physics okay you uh, rely on hc verma do solve problems in hc verma solve the problems that are not solved and and learn the material very well okay this is the secret to uh, 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 success in uh, in in je okay je you must get hc verma okay so uh, otherwise you, you if you are capable go to university can holiday nothing wrong with that okay but this is the preferred solution we have if you buy a tab tablet solution hc verma comes on the tablet but you can go to kindle and buy the kindle uh, uh, the kindle books 250 rupees 300 rupees gets you the hc uh, verma okay so make that investment first today you make the investment and learn very well from hc verma do the previous years questions solve you know now you can use the open stack book i will show you where it is you know open go to openstacks.org and look at the ap chemistry book atoms first book you will get uh, the, uh, an extra uh, place beyond your ncrt otherwise you buy solomons for organic you know solomons or you know um and if you wanted morrison and boyd you can buy you know if you want you know uh, but the key thing is you must do a lot of questions you know and so i'll tell you this much that for maths you buy this you you make a 1000 uh, um, dollar investment you know now itself no don't, don't wait for next year the year after okay mathematics for je main okay c and gauge best book for mathematics and you you listen to neha ma'am you know neha other worlds uh, my army you listen to her also if you can you know but you know uh, it is fun you know but you must invest a lot of time for maths maths expertise is built with lot of solving problems solve problems you know make do do very well with the tough parts okay so now today i am going to so so that, that is the uh, break up right so today i am going to discuss only physics because this is a physics day physics subject right so physics let me explain so now you are in class 11 right so which parts of Uh, are in class 11 so you have this one right simple harmonic motion sound waves elasticity error in measurement right so this is these four topics are about 12 percent only one question right then you have these topics 1 2 3 4 5 right so these five topics are another 30 percent that is right kinematics work energy power laws of motion center center of mass and uh, rotational uh, dynamics right so that is a now six fives are 30 okay so these parts if you do you will get 30 plus 10 right then you have kinetic theory of gases and thermodynamics right that is another 6% so About forty, little more than forty, forty-five. Okay, 
So we spend a lot of time today. Also, we are discussing thermodynamics, right? So, but then you should spend if you do very well and then wave optics. That's another six percent. So about fifty percent, right? So wave optics is also you know easy math. You know, see. So this year, now that you are done with this year between now and um, uh, you know the end of the year, you should really focus on. Getting on top, you buy the uh, part one, Ethiopia, uh, you know, and you really get on top of this material. Buy both, buy part one and part two, Ethiopia. But I'll tell you which parts. Only the early parts of part two you must look at. But part one, Ethiopia, you should start studying now and study it so well that uh, you know uh, that by the time summer comes along, this fifty percent you will be at on top of it. Okay, then you should start preparing for the second part. Okay, so this is, remember this is this is strategy for class 11 students, and I am discussing only physics strategy. Please remember, please remember. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Five threes are 15, right? Then one, two, three, four, five. Five six are thirty, right? And then six kinetic theory, and then wave optics. Okay, so you're doing roughly sixty percent this year. The other forty percent you'll do next year. Okay, and notice that in the other forty percent, mostly it is electrostatics, capacitors, electromagnetic waves, magnetic effect of current, alternating current. And current electricity, okay, and then uh, semiconductors, okay. So and then like communication systems, yeah, maybe, okay. So the key point here is that next year you will predominantly concentrate on electricity and magnetism. This year you will do all that you do in class eleven plus uh, wave optics, okay. So the first early part of class twelve also you will do now. So this 60% you must cover and cover very well while you're studying for class 11. Okay? So students who really make an effort on this 60% will should, will should then during the summer become start to become experts in the class 12 material. But right now you must focus and get your class 11 very good and you should be trying to Prepare using that. So now this slide is not very good, but I'll try to explain. This is exactly similar. Okay. So only difference between um, Mead and JE is that you know the the focus is the same. So they have physical world, also some questions. They have um, you know, um, but otherwise it they do ask about you know a few other things that you won't have. Okay. But otherwise. The strategy is the same as the uh, JE students. You focus on, see, all these are chapter 12, okay, or uh, class 12 material, okay. The first material you do now is gravitation, laws of motion, one, two, mechanical properties of matter, mechanical properties of solids, motion in a plane, motion in a straight line, right? And then you go to oscillation. Physical world, ray optics, etc. You know, then system of particles, rotational motion, thermodynamics, waves, wave optics, etc. Okay, so you do everything that you do in class 11 and just heat in class 12. Okay, so you have 60 percent covered going into the summer, and in the summer you start studying class 12. So what this does for you is. It builds confidence on that 60%. You are focused on that 60%. You become an expert on that 60%. And you do well in your class 11 as well. Okay, Your final exam, by the time you are, you should build a lot of expertise on your class 11 material. Okay, So my suggestion is for to students is really focus on it uh, in, in the case of physics. Solve every problem in this. 
okay concepts of physics one you should go after almost every problem okay remember what we are offering you is a low cost solution okay this book is only 300 rupees 400 rupees but if you buy it online is only 300 rupees buy the e book is only 300 rupees otherwise if you buy the physical book is better i would uh, uh, also encourage you to look at the physical book physical book is, book is only 400 rupees so buy for spend the 400 rupees buy the physical books and then invest in a very good thick notebook okay so 400 rupees for hc verma 100 rupees for your notebook and in your notebook you try to you you read the hc verma and solve the problems there first do solve the problems Re look carefully at the solve problems first read the chapter and listen to the uh, iit pal lectures okay read the chapter listen to the corresponding iit pal lectures while you, like you just bring up the app you know bring up our app read the chapter and look at the iit pal lectures while uh, and look at the slides okay, our slides are uh, somewhat synchronized with the iit pal lectures and hc verma so with these two you are pretty much set to do real justice here okay do good justice to um um uh, the uh, physics part you know class 11 physics now because i am now discussing this for class 11 students i am not discussing this this is not for the class 12 students okay this is for the because class 12 students are five four months you are going to be taking the exam i have different uh, uh um a methodology for you because i assume by now you have already studied everything okay by the end of say summer or early uh, in the uh, in september october right by that time you should have completed the all the material that you need to learn for either neat or j okay and from there on your practice your building on the strength of the whole exam uh, uh, confidence whole exam confidence is extremely important for success in these exams okay what you do need is staying slightly ahead you finish 60% by uh, uh, april uh, or may of uh, 2022 because your exam is going to be in 2023 right so keep this in mind this 60% is where you will maximize your success next year you also you will maximize okay but that material is not yet in your grasp right now right now you must get on top of the 100% of the class 11 material and uh, you know you should be acing that part getting ready for it the tougher part you know like see i'll tell you this much you know get on top of the mechanics get on top of the mechanics first you know once you get on top of the mechanics learn some of the uh, learn the heat part you know and then the optics you know and then the waves you know so heat optics and waves that's the second part of it mechanics heat optics and waves so now once you've done these two right you are at that position where you will uh you have laid the basis okay and you've spent time with hc verma okay and then you're moving rapidly towards uh, confidence and success in uh, class 11 uh, physics a well built basis for class 11 physics will mean one thing for you that you will be a real expert doing questions fast and correctly on that material when it's time for you to sit for these exams the sometimes what you do need to do is you, you of course should buy a, a previous year's question you're taking neat previous year's neat taking je previous year's je okay and you should first do hc verma and then the previous year hc verma solved and then unsolved okay and then you when you go to previous years they will come you don't go straight to previous year read the chapter do the solved problems okay go step by step 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 chapter by chapter chapter by chapter build mastery 
one chapter at a time okay and always keep we teach physics before we teach physics we teach vectors and calculus build that expertise okay once you 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 go you you walk the walk one the first step first the second step second okay so that is a big advice that i give you anyway so continuing on with uh, you know heat uh, heat engines uh, so today i was going to uh, you know kind of wrap it up with a few questions few more questions we already looked at carno right carno is a reversible engine and all these reversible engines which operate between two uh, uh, efficiencies uh, with two temperatures have the same efficiency right uh, and that efficiency is a, the highest you can get it is number one right uh, which is this is what uh, carno said the highest is uh, right and then he, he produced the carno engine is reversible and on top of that it it uh, it has four steps one is the first is isothermal expansion then adiabatic expansion third step is isothermal compression adiabatic compression which goes one two three four you come back to your original state right uh, now change over cycle the internal energy will be zero right and the the um, p d v right p d v is the work right so p d v is the work right uh, isothermal means p v is a constant adiabatic means p v to the power of n is a constant there is no um um uh, there, there is no uh, uh, temperature it's isolated right in uh, adiabatic right so uh, and so using those equations you can then derive the work done p d v right integral p d v is the work done so then you can look at the area in that t versus v curve will give you the the area in that diamond is inside the diamond is the work pdv right so um uh, you know so in one, one two steps you are doing work in the other two steps there is negative there is work done on your negative work right but then the eventual area is the work done okay so that is the carnot engine right work done in the closed loop is the area under the curve right as we say explain right so now and then we then looked at the t versus s t versus s gives you the heat okay so the ratio of the work done to the heat in the case of a heat engine is the efficiency right and we already said that the efficiency is also 1 minus t2 by t1 so you have the two uh, the t1 and t2 right so 1 minus t2 by t1 uh, you know you you are transferring heat from uh, from a, a, a hot body to 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 your uh, engine the engine does work and it also passes some of the heat to to a to the environment right so that's what that's how it works right that's how a, every steam engine type of engine all of them work right therefore you have remember that if uh, in uh, some of the steps there is no work right because why is that right in certain steps there is no work because uh, you know um, the pdv is is constant right under certain circumstances pdv can be constant right so um, but then um, this is that is not the case in in the carnot engine right uh, that is only when the volume is kept constant but here the isothermal and adiabatic because of that uh, um, they are both uh, work producing right you have area under this you have area under this right area under this and area under this but in the case of the um, t versus s curve the isothermal expansion t d s right t d s is q q equals tds but this one is zero adiabatic is there is no heat transfer in adiabatic processes okay so there is no heat transfer only the isothermal expansion isothermal compression produces heat so it's a perfect rectangle so our two processes have no heat transfer only two processes have the isothermal ones right therefore tds 
right integral cds will give you the um uh, the the heat transfer right so uh, and therefore you have the in the cargo engine one, one minus t2 by t1 okay uh, and therefore please note this one minus t2 by t1 and remember to use this right and now <clears throat> We already discussed the second law of thermodynamics. It is a very important idea. It is, uh, you know, uh, you you will pass if you become a mechanical engineer or one of those types of engineers, uh, you know, or chemical engineer. You will deal with second law of thermodynamics all your life. Okay, if you are that too. Like you know, you will have to remember it and remember it very well. Okay, so um, uh, so so Carnot's theorem, given two heat reservoirs, the Carnot engine has the maximum efficiency. Okay, and uh, so typically we do deal with ideal gases, right? Uh, and uh, you know, easy, it's easier to deal with uh, in terms of solving problems, right? Um, anyway, and so then we discuss the heat pump. Refrigerator is a heat pump, and then you know, in uh, you know, in in the case of the refrigerator, the the, the second statement is more important. Cloch's statement, uh, you know, there is no cyclic process possible whose sole result is the transfer heat from a Colder body to hotter object, right? There will always be. You'll never have zero work, right? You'll you'll end up doing some work also. Okay. So uh, so that is the the key uh, thing, right? So then we looked at um, a few simple questions, right? Uh, you know, um, uh, you know, and um, uh, um, uh, you know, and and so we looked at this pro this problem last time. Uh, now, uh, you know, the question here is in a cyclic process, work done by the system is equal to the heat given by the system. Well, that's not exactly true. It's only true in the case of an ideal case, right? So more often than not, the work done by the system is less than the heat given to it, okay? Because some of it is also given back to the environment, right? So this is very tricky as it has a clever assumption there. So now we then look at this question: a sample of an ideal gas has pressure P naught V naught and temperature T naught. It is isothermally expanded. That means so this is the V versus T curve. So isothermally expanded expanded means what? So it you know at a constant temperature. So it goes from a to b it is then compressed at constant pressure to have the original volume so this is the volume right v versus t right so original volume sort of comes back down expanded using at a constant temperature compressed you at a constant volume finally the gas is heated to get back to the at constant volume to get back to the original uh, location right so, uh, uh, so, so then you, so you therefore have three parts, right? So now show the he, the V versus T curve. So this is the V versus T goes from A to B isothermal uh, expansion, B to C uh, compression at constant pressure to have the original volume, and then C to A to take it to the original temperature. Right at constant volume. Right. So now, <clears throat> which process? Now, what about the work? The work is what the isothermal. Uh, the the uh, isothermal expansion is what PV equals constant. Right. So uh, if uh, when P, if, uh, PV equals constant because isothermal P is constant. Right. So PV equals nRT. So PV is a constant. So integral P dV becomes nRT ln v2 by v1. Right. Why is that? Because P uh, uh, P D V is what P is what N R T by V, right? So D V by V. So when you integrate D V by V, you'll end up with ln V, and therefore between the limits V2 and V1, right? So ln V2 by N R T ln V2 by V1. Now you are going to is then compressed at constant pressure to have the original volume. So what happens to it? Pressure is stays the same, right? But the volume, right, 
halves again. So it goes from V naught to P D V. It stays at P naught by two and goes from uh, there to from V naught to V naught uh, by two. Right. Therefore, the work done is delta V times the pressure. Pressure is what P naught by two. Right. Therefore, uh, <clears throat> because P V equals N R T, if if it's the volume doubles, the isothermal expansion, the volume doubles, pressure will halve. Right. So the new pressure is P naught by two. Right. So P naught by two stays at constant pressure, and then the volume uh, halves. Right. So therefore, yeah, P naught V naught by two as the work done. Now, finally, the gas is heated. At constant volume, P D V. There's no uh, change in volume, so P D V is zero. Okay, so W three is zero. So then you look at the whole process, the first and the second part. Therefore, you have point P dot V dot times ln two minus point five. Ln two minus point five is point one nine three P dot V dot. So these are the kinds of questions you will get. Okay. Ideal gas heat engine operates in a Carnot engine between two two hundred twenty seven degrees and one hundred twenty seven. It absorbs this much at high temperature. Okay, amount of heat converted into work is what one minus P two by T one is the efficiency. Efficiency is W by Q. Right, so one minus P two by T one you calculate it becomes point two. Remember when you do T, it is always in Kelvin. 227 is 500 kelvin 127 is 400 kelvin 1 minus 400 by 500 is 0.2 that is the efficiency and that is the w by q1 so <coughs> w is what is w right so q is what q is 6 6 into 10 to the power of 4 they have given that 0.2 equals w by q therefore w equals 0.2 times 6 into 10 to the power of 4 Therefore, you end up with 1.2 into 10 to the power of 4 joules as the work done. So, remember, it's not these questions are not difficult, uh, but you know it is worth uh, uh, you know having uh, understanding the details here. Okay. So now I introduce. I've got a couple more questions. Here's a couple more. A Carnot engine operating between T1 and T2 has efficiency 1 by 6. When the temperature is lowered by 62, its efficiency increases to increases to one by three, right? So why does that happen? Why does it go up, right? So one minus T2 by T1, right? So when T2 declines, right, then the efficiency expands because T2 by T1. Decline t two by t one decline so one minus that will increase right that's what they are saying now one minus t two by t one equals one by six and then one minus t two minus sixty two by t one equals one by three so two equations and two unknowns therefore you can solve for two equations and two unknowns solve for t one and then t two and then I found uh, this is what I got three hundred and ten t one is three hundred So there's only one choice, just T1 as 300. Okay, so um, so try to on the one hand, these things are very conceptual subjects. Okay, so you understand the concepts very well, Bono, you and and you must understand the theory behind the concepts, isothermal, adiabatic, all these things you must know, because these are all words, but they matter. They're all words which matter a lot. Like for instance, every word matters. One more, and uh, you know, of a monoatomic gas is heated at a constant pressure of one atmosphere from zero to hundred k. The gas constant R is eight. The change in the internal energy of the gas is what, right? So you end up with N C delta. so um <clears throat> with that i'm going to stop for today and then we will discuss this again tomorrow so that i'm going to
uh, you know stop um, uh, today's lecture we can uh, look at um, uh, re um, uh, you know reevaluating this if you have any questions regarding the preparation methodology as i said you know you need to get a class 11 student must get on top of all the class 11 material before they um and heat as well right get on top of all the class 11 material including wave optics and heat right um, um and uh, you know uh, get on top of uh, wave and wave optics right including uh, lenses and everything 60% of the of that right get on top of that 64% work through hc verma you know initially hc verma will be tough because the you may not have learned uh, physics at the same conceptual level that you need to for either need or je but when you do justice to hc verma you 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 have to work hard you have to read carefully you have to look at the solved problems very very carefully and you must use our app okay listen to the iit pal lectures it is an investment in patience it is an investment in learning it is an investment in yourself a student who learns invest in, in himself spend time invest and when you do that you will do very well take it from me okay you would have invested in yourself you would have invested in your own education okay so make that effort class 11 students i am telling you this is the most important period the next few weeks between now and march as you prepare for your class 11 if you prepare for the je if you prepare for the je material of class 11 you have done perfect justice to to what you need to do so i am i am counting on you guys i am counting on you guys to succeed do not worry who is doing more, you know the ye wo wo beta aakash jayega wo beta khota jayega don't worry about all that you do justice within the what you have okay what you have is tremendous iit pass concepts of physics nyanamarga app okay with just these three and with previous years questions working with friends working at home talking to people reaching out you will go far sir you will go far my my friends you will do very well i am counting on you to do well okay so please prepare yourself be strong have positive attitude and study hard this is the time thank you very much